little it, scratch. Yeah, yeah, and you make a little yeah, tune. And then your hat is, and then everything's like. Everything's like what? <laughs> As you can tell, we're out in nature having fun, as Wallace just said. <laughs> we're about to come out for a. Oh yeah, I've, I've dragged Wallace out of the house. Um, and her, what do you call it? A fluffy morning, don't you? Oh, fluffy morning. Yeah. yeah so. They're happening quite a lot lately. Now the van's back. It's like, right, come on, woman, out. Yeah. It's the best thing for it. I know. It's, Obviously, I don't know what I, I can't put myself in with those shoes. I'm not a woman. I don't know anything about what she's going to, you know. So it's it's, it's easier said than done. Saying how we let's go out. But, but that's what I need. A big once it out, it kick up me rectum. But, but it's not a kick up the arse, really. It's just a little bit of healing from nature, isn't it? Yeah. And it's grounded, and I'm kind of getting lost in my head right now, and all of the hormones are surging through my body. Women. It's not just about your period stopping, it's way more. And I empathise with every woman on this planet who's going through the perimenopause, full menopause, whatever stage you're at. I totally sympathise with you all, because it's um, pretty wild! Yeah. It's a terrible watching her going through with this, and she's got total control of it, she thinks she's cracking up, and, and, and I'm watching her thinking, what the fuck? But, you don't know what's going but I don't know how she's feeling internally, that's why, I, you know, she's about understanding really so for all the men who are women going through this just you know all you can do is really be there but it's yeah like, and it's hard i feel like i need to be apologizing because i've got this rage <laughs> that i kind of thought i dealt with throughout my life and then now it's like bottling up and this ancient sadness pain in my heart all the time and i'm just one minute i'm perfectly fine the next minute i'm sobbing yeah um and, I, and because I have no rational words or experience of it, I don't know what it is. Well, I know what it is, but it's the understanding of it and just how this you can have this switch and either pure anger or so sad, like so, so sad, yeah. lonely. That's a hard thing as well, it's obviously. With you no know, watching it all. Yeah, no. it's just, it happens. This is absolutely beautiful. Cool. This. Look at this guy. Like we missed the autumn part of getting out, didn't we? We got the yeah, back end of summer. No. Yeah, and it was around about this time of year ago when we started with the van, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. van life. Where we, where we started in the winter, didn't we? Yeah. So we experienced the winter bit first, then the summer, and now the winter again. Mm -hmm. So we're a bit more prepared for winter this year, though, aren't we? <laughs> Wait, and you've got your hot water bottles. I've got my hot water bottles. <laughs> I've got the log burner to put in still as well. Well, I know mm. I could be wearing a bikini throughout the winter because um, the sweats and all Yeah, that. true. That's another thing as well. Like, get you the temperature, temperature fluctuations. Fluctuation, rashes, itchy, the hair falling out. Yeah. Of big things like that on the hair. So women, there needs to be more awareness around this. I definitely think, like in the community, there needs to be more awareness about this stage in a woman's life. It's not so much talked about, and I really, really think it should be a thing yeah. that's brought into consciousness, because it is a, whew, an intense time of your life. <laughs> it's a good job it only happens once, I suppose, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I've heard it's like, two, like this thing's about two years, so... Right. We'll see. Everybody's different, aren't they? And everybody's yeah. bodies are different. I mean, some people don't go through it until they're in their late fifties and things like that. Some women don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trying to pick the tree. Well, it is nice to get out and like we say, nature's healing and all that. But probably catch us back at the van. He's out. Driving me crazy
Somebody would fucking hate me then. Am I going to open the van anymore? Back at the van. That was a really nice walk, that. Um, I always knew Topwell Woods wasn't as small as I thought, but I never realised how big it was. It's my hood, it sir. It's massive, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I got my off all last now, and then we pulled in. Because we jumped in the back machine in the state of the shed. Um, I mean, the van. Shed, yes. Well, it is, it turns, when you're busy with it, it turns it's into a, a shed. Mess, or a garage. Michael. But it'll only take a couple of minutes for all that to sort out. I don't think it'll take more than a couple of minutes to sort this out. <laughs> oh, and I made a little heater because I've got the log burner to go in and it's got some spare, had some spare fruits, air fruit section. I don't know if you can see this. I drilled some holes underneath and put a couple of tea, tea light candles under it and it, it just take a little radiator. It kicks out a tiny bit of heat. Does the job. Yeah. We're going to have a cup of a coffee with tea. And then we're just going to see where we end up there. Eh? Okay, then Okay, then you. That was lovely, that night. I really enjoyed it. It was. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Michael. Sorry, Michael. Sorry, Michael. Sorry, Michael. Yeah, so... I think they thought the van was sorted, didn't we? Yeah. Turns out she's not. It turns out that she's been working absolutely fine. Brilliant, and then now all of a sudden it's straight back to how it was. Um, it's a bit dark in here, like, but. Uh, Shall I turn the key? All the lights come on. And then nothing. I went on and tried the earth cable again and everything. I've even tried sticking the jump lead from the negative to the battery to the end, you know, metal part of the engine and that, and there's nothing's happening. Um, it's getting dark, it's getting cold, so I'm going to put the kettle on in the back and... <sighs> Shitting times, man. I know, it's like, I put the put this on to record it and document, because I don't do this often, I don't document shit. Because it's not the kind of thing you want to be... It's just... It's not a nice feeling, this. Um, but I suppose this is the, the truth of van life as well when you get stranded. Well, it's a major problem because it's a fucking vehicle and if the engine and shit is not fucking stored, van life is living in a big van and this is one of the fucking big things of it. It's like, your van fucking wants to break down all the fucking time and it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to cry. So what did turn out to be a good day to sort me nap run out is saying it's done the It's a testing day, isn't it? Yes. We've got the coffees on the boat. We've got the heater on, which is what that noise is, probably here. Yeah. I'm not Bertha's best friend right now. I'm just lost, I'm just stuck, I'm just... Has anybody got a clue out there? Has anybody got a clue how to deal with this van? Or what it could possibly be? See, so now it's pitch black outside, it's literally got dark even, so uh, quick! I think I've tried putting, like, I've just tried, I've tried messing, I must have put another van, but it's now it's happening. Um, I'm alright, I don't mind me, it's all ass, I worry about Well, you're and, flicking, and you're making me worse because you're, you have to say you're shaking and you're agitated and you, yeah, I'm worrying you can't, about you, you can't think straight because you're it. agitated, but you're getting agitated about me, don't worry about agitated about me, just, I'll be alright if you be calm and not <laughs> show that you're agitated and because you're showing you're agitated, it's making me worse. Don't my hands really, isn't it? Put my lap and at the minute. Now I've got a clue what it is. I just don't want the van. Getting left or not. Left. Really hoping that get her moving and get her somewhere where she's fucking be at least a nice view. Or well, I was past myself when she did it the other week when you went to fucking fill her up. And that was the Oh, I got stranded on the petrol station. Anyway, 
The video's not gonna get me to get out there to find out right now. Oh. So. <laughs> there you go, catch us in a bit, guys. You always do the funny stuff when the camera's not rolling. <laughs> Will Bertha ever start it all? <laughs> Will she? Anta's on a postcard to Chopwell Woods, any God knows where, somewhere in the northeast, stranded cold and dark. Good night. Are you cold? Not now because the heat has on, but I was fucking freezing before because we've been out for a good few hours hike. And then coming back in the van and starting and standing outside with my pet lip holder and cup coffee. I'm already very unwell and plunged in the fucking Great North Sea yesterday. And then um, I don't think I've been warm right through back to my core since then. And, um, mm -hmm. and now we're just stranded. And now we're fucking stranded. In the van, we did. <laughs> Life is beautiful. <laughs> hey, you gotta laugh because if you don't laugh, we're gonna cry. <laughs> Meanwhile, cracking up in the back of Bertha. So at least there's some money for us to cry. And that's hot. Hey, Chad, catch in a bit. Yeah, I have to Chad, that's the van started again. Oh, oh. Ah. I know, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to put your tools in this, yeah. We're going to get in the van, we're going to head off. Thinking it's definitely a stranding problem. Absolutely freezing. It is, so we're going to head off, get back home, and Update is in a Walking again. <laughs> yep, we're back on foot. Walking. <laughs> Got the oh. van home. Um, the van seat, that's a main that's thing. Main thing. Somewhere we shouldn't have no drama again. Yeah, um, it's got to be something to do with the, the negative and the grounding. Because, but then we lock him. We put the, the jump cable from the starter motor to his negative battery on his car, and then from the positive of his car to my van, and it started straight away. So it's definitely uh, an issue or a grounding issue. Yeah, because um, we just switched off to try that again. It's nothing. Nah, no, nothing happening. So. No, it's a walk to walk, like a walk, walk to walk, lasses. Mm -hmm. so. Right. But it has been a good day and exciting, very exciting. Oh, it's been <laughs> different, hasn't it? At least mm -hmm. the world right, it's about uh, three and a half mile. It's a nice walk. We might see some nice Christmas lights on the way. Well, we'll catch us in a bit, guys. Right, so I've had a look at this earthen strap. From what I can see, it does look like in pretty bad shape. I really have to play. Um, that'll be my first point of call, is to change that. Because it's definitely a grounding issue. Um, bypass the starter and like jump the starter. That wouldn't even jump because it's just obviously it's not circulating the, the power. Um, but as soon as we put the, the negative onto the onto the starter and onto the negative of, of my brother and law's car and then the positive onto my positive it turns straight away so it's, it's obviously a circulating issue it's just finding it and I will find it I'm going to get that changed as soon as I can um, 
and we'll just take it from there, I suppose. Uh, I can't let it beat this. This what's confusing as well is the fact that as soon as I sorted that connection out, because this is exactly how it was before, just, there was just nothing, nothing happening at all. And I sorted that connection out and it fired up, and I, mean, I was over the moon because I hadn't been working for weeks and weeks. Um, and we're straight back to that again, just from nowhere. And first of all, see, because yesterday when we went to chop, well, we parked under some pylons, and when I, as soon as I got out of the van, I could hear, I could hear the static, I could even feel, you know, it's, it's like it, was, it felt like you're sending, it was in your west. I don't even know if that could have anything to do with it, you know, it's just... And thanks again for joining me guys, please if you like what you see, like and subscribe, it um, means the world that we help it out a bit, um, but yeah, wish for luck please, peace guys.